Hey guys, it's May May, and guess what? Today is finally here. It is sneak peek time. Now, if you're a Stamp Club member, you wait on this day every month where I show you a sneak peek of what the club set is this month. However, I'm not showing that one first, so I'll make you wait a little bit longer. I have four sets releasing this month, including the Stamp Club set. So we're going to start with a couple others first, and then we're going to come right back to that. The first set, stamp set I'm going to show you, I'm super excited about. Check this one out, guys. This is called What's Cooking. Can you see all of the cooking things? I'm going to turn it where the glare is a little bit different. All right, check this out. It says recipes, yummy, salads, dishes, desserts, appetizers, side, main. The reason this says side and main is so you can put it with dishes. So you have side dishes, main dishes. It says ingredients, instructions, cup, liter, teaspoon, milliliter, tablespoon, package, ounces, Fahrenheit, Celsius, grams, pint, quart, gallon, pound, and one through zero. And I even give you the little slash marks. If you want to do one half, you have the little slash. But look at these guys. Look at this little apron and the mitten and the spoon and the timer and the bowl and the little casserole dish. I just love it. That's really more of a boiler pot than a casserole dish. But I'm in love with this set. So this one is called What's Cooking, and it's in the store now. Now, after I show you all the sets, I'm going to go through and do some stamping. So if you want to stick around for that part, that'll be in the second part of the video. So here's set number one. Now, set number two is the one that I told you about earlier in the month in our little Frequently Asked Questions. This stamp set is amazing. It was designed by Marilyn Brown, who is a viewer of mine. And she went through a time in her life where she battled cancer. And during that time, she spoke to God, she prayed, and God gave her an image. And the image he gave her is this angel, which is also an awareness ribbon. Can you see that? This is an amazing set. On the back of this set, there's a little testimony from Marilyn to let you know all about the image. But the thing I want to tell you is this. Awareness ribbons are not just for cancer survivors or people struggling with cancer. There's all different colors of awareness ribbons out there, and this image will work for all of those. Let me show you a sample I made. I made this card. Well, I've got two things here. I made this card using this image, and look how beautiful. This is the image colored in red. Now, a lot of you know that the awareness ribbon in red is for heart disease, but in purple, if I'm not mistaken, it's for autism. You guys think about all the ways you could use this awareness ribbon angel on cards for people who are struggling with different illnesses. And just so you know, you can search online on Google and you can find all the images, all the, co I mean, all the colors for the ribbons in like a chart. Now, I colored this one with a little bit of Copics and some blue on the wings, and this says, as he shall give his angels charge over thee. But look, look at the inside. Notice that the angels go in two different directions here. I didn't forget I, I didn't forget about that. Check this out. Actually, I did, but my admin team did not. Look at this. So not only do we have the one set that has the pray for the cure angel here, okay? We also have the second set that has the angel going in the other direction. Now, something else I want to tell you. I'm going to talk about this one a good bit. These three angels are sized large, medium, small. These three angels are size large, medium, small. And what I did, in case you bought both sets, I didn't want you to have just two absolute duplicates of the angels just going in different directions. So they are all different sizes, okay? So this is the largest, the next largest, the next medium, the next medium, the next small, the next small. So they're not all the same size, so you won't have six of the same size angels. You'll have six similar angels, but three going in different directions. Now let's look at the sentiments. On this one, guys, you don't have to use this. Like I said, you could use this for cards, for get well cards, for you're so brave cards, for encouragement cards. Check this out. The words here are courage, believe, survivor, strength, hope, faith. Okay, then as we head down, you'll see you're in my prayers, joy comes in the morning, I can do all things through Christ, prayer warrior, this one is the one I used on my card, he shall give the angels charge over thee, Psalm 9111. Then you have find, keep, grace, thee and your. The reason for those is you can do find the courage, keep the faith, um, keep your strength. 
I put all those words in there so you can build all that together and make it say anything you want. Now, this is a beautiful set. These words at the top were words that Marilyn found to give her hope. Joy Comes in the Morning was a scripture that she hung on to. She definitely wanted Prayer Warrior here. And Marilyn has done an incredible job with this image. God blessed her with that, and she gives him all the glory. So, guys, be sure to read the back. And it's on both. So, if you don't buy both, if you decide just to buy the smaller set, which I'm calling the companion set, you've got um, Pray for the Cure. Let me tap this down a little bit. You've got Pray for the Cure, and you've got I Prayed for You Today in a banner. Now, one thing I want to show you about this banner image, when you get a solid image stamp like this, they need to be kind of seasoned. And I want to show you this that I did. The first one, I'm going to try to get it where you guys can see. Okay, the very first time I stamped it, this is what I got. And see how it's kind of modelly, kind of not a solid image? Okay, the very last time I stamped it here, I got a really great image. What I did was I stamped, 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 stamped all these times. But in between about every two or three, I would clean it with a baby wipe. What happens is these photopolymer kind of have like a little coating on them from the manufacturer. So you just want to do a little what's called conditioning and you'll be able to get that image printed really nice. And I'll show you, that's what I put on the inside of the card so you can see how nice that stamps once you season it. Isn't it pretty? Guys, Marilyn rocked it on this one. And we'll stamp some of these out in just a second together so you can see what they look like. Okay, I forgot to show you this from the recipe set. Let me show you the samples I did for that. This is a recipe card I made, and I used the words ingredient, the numbers and the packages, and the instructions word, the apron, the little spoon, and this is a timer. So that's the sample from that one I forgot to show you. And then check these out. This is from my tab punch that was sent to me by Becca, and I just punched some tabs, and then I stamped the word like that's desserts, and this one is main dishes. So if you're going to make a recipe book, Check it out. You're already set to go. And guys, this is a highly requested set from you guys. I can't tell you how many people have asked for that recipe set. I just wanted to show you those while I was at it. Dun, 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 dun. It's time for the club set. Look at this. Oh, I love this set so much. And I'll tell you why. There's so many reasons I love it. Number one, it's, it's all about sweet treats. So you might be thinking, oh, May May, that's a Halloween set. No, it's not. Listen, this set is for sweet treats of any kind. Nowhere on here is it specific to any holiday. I did that on purpose so you could use this for every holiday. Let's look at what it says. Sweet treats for you. You make life sweet. Holiday treats. Enjoy the treats. Sweet stuff. Just for you. A little treat for someone sweet. Thank you for being so sweet. Something yummy for your tummy. And look at the little candies. Aren't they cute? You ready for the sample? Look at this. I love this one. Look at this candy um, holder. This is the M&M holder, the little plastic bags. See the top where it says sweet treats for you and it's got the little lollipop and a candy. And then I took these candies, colored them, cut them out, and tied them on baker's twine so that they dangle from the treat. And I think they're so cute. I also colored them with a little wink of Stella and some big market markers, by the way. No Copics here, all market markers. But there's one more thing about this set that I love and that is this. This is my one and three quarter inch circle punch that I've had forever. This guy right Right here. All of these sentiments fit inside your one and three quarter inch circle punch and any larger circle punch. So as long as it's one and three quarter inch, you're in good shape. Every one of these will fit in there, okay? So then you can take your two inch scallop circle and make one of these to go around it. That's actually an orange and a brown scallop that I cut and then just kind of twisted so that you could see both edges of it showing but it'll fit in all of them. And guys, can you imagine what all you can do with these candies? Imagine color them in red and green or in actual Smarties colors. This reminds me of Smarties. It's not, but it reminds me of those candies that have the little, we call them Smarties around here. I don't know what y'all call them. But imagine that for, for even for Easter. And it gets even better. If you have my other stamp set that's made for this time of year, the one that's called Country Pumpkin, you can use all of these, especially the candies, with those sentiments because it's more Halloween themed. This is the club set. Now, I know the next question you're going to ask is, if I'm not in the club, when can I get this set? I do have extras. Every month, I order extra for the club to make sure I have enough for everyone who signs up for the club. So I do have extras. Now, if you're in the club, you get this set with no shipping, and you also get free shipping on all those other ones that I just showed you today that will be in the Etsy store. Now, if you're not in the club, this one will be available probably by next week in the store. I like to ship these to my club members, make sure they get them, make sure everything's good as far as they've got all that they need, and then we move on to the um, just the, you know, the public. I 
open them up to everybody after that. So that is the set. So let's bring them back out. So you've got what you've got. Um, this one's called, um, I forgot, Sweet Stuff. <laughs> this one is What's Cooking. This one is Pray for the Cure, and this one is Pray for the Cure Companion. Now, the um, the reason this is called Pray for the Cure, like I said, is it's not for just one cure that we're looking for. We're looking for cures for many, many different things. So this is Pray for the Cure for whatever a person needs. I'm just so excited. Can y'all hear the excitement in my voice when these showed up? Oh, I was beside myself, and I got to play. I could have played for hours with these guys. So if you're interested, stick around for this next part of the video. I'm going to go through and do some stamping out of all these guys, too. If you're not interested in the stamping part, thanks for joining today, and all of these guys will be in the store available except the Stamp Club set, but I will put a link to all of these guys for you if you're interested. Thanks so much. All right, stick around, guys. We're going to stamp. We're going to start with the Pray for the Cure set, and I'm going to start with the largest angel. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stamp them side by side so you can see just how large they are. I'm going to put this little lady on this block. I'm going to use some tuxedo memento, I mean, what am I trying to say? Memento tuxedo black ink so that if I decide to color these in the future, I can. So here's the largest angel. And I'll go back and measure, too, to let you know. I also want to show you guys this. You guys always ask me how I clean my stamps. This is a little stack of baby wipes. And after I finish stamping, I just do that and stamp it off on there to clean them and then just put them back where they go. I hope that was helpful for somebody. I get that question a lot whenever I go off screen and clean them. That's how I do it. Now I'm going to go to the next largest angel. And guys, this may be a long video, but I'm going to try not to rush myself. i got a lot of sets to get through, and I want you guys to be able to see them. So if you get bored, I understand. Now this angel goes in the other direction, and she's not quite as large as the last one. As you can see, she's slightly smaller, so we'll kind of stair step down. And I'm cleaning it off again on my little wipes to the side. Now we'll go to the next largest angel, which will be facing in the other direction. And the reason that um, my admins were so smart, they were like, you need to do these in both directions because you never know which way on your card you'd like your angel to go. And they were so smart about that. That is exactly what I needed to do, and I appreciate them telling me. So now the next one facing the other direction, which is slightly smaller. So they're not all exactly the same size. And then we'll go to the next smallest. I almost put that on my ink pad. That's not what I want to do. Now I do. Stamp this little lady. These, this image is a very fine-lined image, and the coloring, I can't imagine what you guys are going to do with it. It's going to be amazing. And here she is in the other direction, slightly smaller. And I mean slightly. They're not like huge step-downs, but you can see how they go. Matter of fact, let's get the ruler out and see what we're looking like. So the largest image here is top to bottom, just shy of three inches. Okay. This one top to bottom from the wing down is two and three fourths. This one from the tip of that wing down is just slightly over an inch and three quarters. This one is just at an inch and three quarters. This little guy, or little lady, is just over an inch and, oh, actually she is an inch and three eighths. And this little girl is right at an inch and a quarter. So they're about an eighth of an inch as you get down in here smaller. But isn't that so cute? I love them. Now let's do some of the sentiments. Let's stamp this Pray for the Cure to the side so you can see what that looks like. Love this image. Look at that. Clean that off again. And then I showed you the banner, but I'm going to do it one more time. It's really important that you season these guys when they're solid images. Also, to get a nice straight line, lay your stamp down on your work surface and pick it up with your block so that it's not crooked. Now, this is the one I have seasoned, and I showed you how to do that. I showed you working with it, so I want to show you what this looks like. That's probably not going to be very straight, but you can see how nice and full that is once it's seasoned. But be sure to do that and clean it with your wet wipe afterwards. Okay, so that is the small set. Let's go to the big set and look at some of the sentiments here. I'm going to stamp Prayer Warrior. I showed you the scripture on there already stamped. So I'm going to stamp Prayer Warrior. I'm going to turn that upside down and pick it up so it's nice and straight. I love this image or this sentiment. See Prayer Warrior? I had a little fuzz on there and then I smeared it. Oh well. I have a little fuzz in the craft room today. Okay, now then, let's do Joy Comes in the Morning. This is a pretty one. Doing up here to the top. 
Look how pretty, guys. I'm in love with this set. There's so much you can do with this. I can even see using this in our scripture art journaling, like Joy Comes in the Morning. I can see that being used there. Now let's do one that's the multiple words. Let's do courage. No, let me do it in a different order. Let's do um, find. Let's do find first. So here's the word find. Right there. And let's do... Your, let's do the word your. So there's your, and I probably would do these a little different. I'm just doing them line by line so you can see how you can do this. And let's do find your strength. How about that? Here it is. I don't know that I would say that to somebody, but just using these words together to show you. So find your and strength. So see how you can mix the words up? So I did that so you could kind of play with that. All right, I'm going to move on from this guy. That gives you a good example of how this one works. So let's go to the next set. So a little scrap of paper. This is the apron from What's Cooking. The What's Cooking stamp set is in the store, and it is available to everyone. It's not a club set. It's one you can use for every day and making your recipes and things like that. That is the apron. And I'm going to clean it off of here to the side and put it back. I want to do all the images for you since I showed you pretty much most of the words whenever I showed you the samples. This is the little oven mitt, which I think is so cute. Get that little guy down here. Isn't he cute? Can you imagine doing him in colored paper and then like paper piecing him? He's so cute. And then the spoon is super cute. You know what? If you had a sentiment where like for nursery rhymes, um, where the, what is it that ran away with the spoon? Gosh, guys, it's been a long time since I've had babies. <laughs> but there's a spoon for you. And then, thanks to my wonderful admin team, and I actually believe that it was Nyoka that told me about this. It could have been Denise that reminded me that I needed a timer. Here's a timer. How cute is that? Do I keep saying how cute is that? I do. I'm sorry. I'm very excited about these. This bowl, I want to tell you about this bowl. When I was a teenager, my mother had a bowl that reminds me of this one, and that's why I wanted to do it. Her bowl was a cream-colored bowl, and it had a pink and a blue, baby pink and baby blue stripe on this big bowl, and that's exactly where that image came from out of my head, because I remember it. And then, this boiler pot. Is that what this is called, or a Dutch oven, or something like that? This is something I'd use to cook on the stove with. Check it out. Love it. Any more images on there? I don't see any more images. Um, let's do, let's stamp a number or two. This is the number one. Teeny tiny, guys. Teeny. See that little guy? The thing I want to caution you about these, I'll do it real quick. Don't press too hard with these numbers. I want to show you the difference. See how that one's a little bit thicker? Don't press too hard with them. They're tiny and they can distort if you're not too um, careful with them. So just touch them down and just make sure they make a good touch. So that is, wait, I didn't do the word recipes. Let's do recipes. So if you want to make a recipe book, you can see what this looks like. There's recipes. Love it, guys. Love it. All right, so that's what's cooking. Now let's look at the sweets, the sweet treats. What is it called? <laughs> the sweet stuff stamp set. Let me see. I can't flip that one over again. Let's find another scrap. Here we go. Sweet stuff. All right, I want to show you. I'm going to get what I think is the largest, well... This one is really the largest sentiment on there, and I wanted to show you it would fit in the one and three quarter. Let me get the next largest. Be the next largest. Maybe you make life sweet. Let's try this one and see if it's the next largest. Okay. So I'll just stamp that here. I don't think I got that middle inked. Okay. I'm going to stamp that here. Just like that. Clean that off for a second. And I want to show you how... You can take this and put it into your one and three quarter inch circle punch and punch that out and use it on just about anything. That was the whole plan behind this set was to make sure you could fit all of these sentiments in your one and three, um, one and three quarter inch circle punch. I want to show you this. This is the one and three quarter inch circle here that I punched out of that piece of paper. And I just want to show you sweet treats um, for you fits. You make life sweet. Holiday treats. Something yummy for your tummy. 
sweet stuff. See that? So you can use these. Even the candies for the most part, not this long guy, but the rest of the candies will fit as well. Let's talk about what the candies are. This one it reminds me of those little mints we talked about, the little smarty kind of mints. This is just kind of a, could be Christmas. I really thought Christmas when I did that because it looked like a little peppermint. This reminds me of those um, peanut butter candies kind of things that we get at Halloween. And this is a gumdrop, a goody goody gumdrop right there in the corner for you. All right, guys, that is it for today. I wanted to show you that. And I wanted to let you see all the new stamp sets that are out. Please don't forget, if you would like to sign up for the Stamp Club, it is available to you. If you sign up now, you'll be signing up for next month's stamp set. You won't get this one. If you sign up in a month, you get the next month stamp set as your first um, club set. However, you didn't miss out. This will be in the store in about a week, and you'll be able to purchase that one, too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. Links to everything below, all the stamp sets, the stamp club, everything will be linked for you below. Have a great one. Bye-bye.